And now we move on straight to our main topic tonight, the APC conundrum. The Acting National Publicity Secretary of the All Progressives Congress, Mr. Timmy Frank, today dismissed a five-man panel set up by the party to investigate a petition against him. Frank dismissed, described the panel as a kangaroo court set up purposely to suspend him so as to pave way for further illegalities by, the hand, by a handful of members of the John Odige Oyegun-led National Working Committee. He claims the panel, which is made up of individuals whose affiliation to the APC is unknown, will not be given the dignity of his appearance should he be invited. He explained that the panel was clearly set up by the party's national chairman and given a mandate to suspend him in order to prevent him from exposing the internal turmoil his leadership has foisted on the party. The party's leadership alleges that he is disloyal, on the other hand, and that he's not working for the interest of the party. Well, we spoke to Mr. Timmy Frank yesterday, and tonight on the program, we get some other perspectives into the matter. I'm being joined by the party's national secretary, O.G. Ngofa. Many thanks for joining us on the program. Mr. Ngofa, how Thank exactly you. did the All Progressives Sorry. Congress get to, get to this point? So first, I want to say that I'm the Deputy National Secretary, and uh, I'm not the Secretary. And to say also that uh, we think that uh, most of the issues have been blown out of proportion. It is not in the nature of our party to come to the public space to take on issues with our party members, but we just deem it necessary to come and clarify some of the falsehood and lies that have been bandied about in the name of uh, crisis. Otherwise, we don't really see a crisis in the proportion that uh, the people are taking it. Okay, when you say um, lies that are being bandied and things blown out of proportion, where are these lies being bandied? Or who, is, who are those responsible for the lies being bandied? And what lies are being bandied exactly? Well, um, we have uh, listened in several uh, uh, media platform, our uh, acting, who well, we claim to be our acting national publicity secretary, making all sort of claims and all that against the national chairman and the NWC. We have really carefully tried to listen to some of the issues that he has raised, and there are really no issues. I mean, I have heard him raise the issues of uh, non constitution of BOT, um, uh, inability of uh, the party to hold. Uh, midterm convention and uh, issues concerning Ondo and himself and himself is uh, the refusal of the party to admit him into NWC and all that. For us, those are really uh, issues that you would say that constitute crisis. They are just a uh, storm in teacup. Um. Ms. Ngofa, are you trying to say that um, these issues raised by Mr. Frank are, are actually being unnecessarily blown out of proportion and they are not actual issues that the party should look into? Exactly. They are blown out of proportion. I am not saying that we don't have issues as a political party. Uh, APC is a human organization and when you consider the circumstances that brought us together in less than one year, we won a national election, and got the presidency and all that. You should expect uh, problems because it's about interest and as a party, we continue to work to see how we can align the various interests and the various perspectives. But they are not uh, crises. The way one individual in the party is carrying it on from um, one media platform to the other. You know, I have those issues that he has raised. They are clearly not issues where you say that APC is in major crisis the way it's been dramatically presented. Okay, but Mr. Frank has alleged that um, Chief John Oyegun is tearing the party in the path of destruction. And if something is not done, in fact, he invited Mr. President to wade into the matter. And if something is not done in a hurry, the, the APC might be a drowning ship. How true are these allegations? What? Well, I think it would have been proper for you to tell me what are the issues that uh, will drown the APC if the national chairman is not removed. 
like I have said, uh, some of the I've listened to some of his uh, I have listened to some of his um, uh, complaints. I watched your program yesterday, and I, I couldn't get any issue of substance. What are the issues? You know, I think we think that uh, he is just pursuing a personal vendetta against the national chairman and the NWC because he was not admitted into NWC as um, acting national publicity secretary, and we have reason to do that. Okay, but prior to this time, there, there have been uh, other calls for Chief Oyegun to step aside as the national chairman of the party. Could it be that um, uh, perhaps a faction of the party might have lost interest in his style of leadership or some things he's done as a leader of the party? I am not aware. You, you tell me the factions, as far as we are concerned, there are no factions in our party. Our party is united. Our leaders are together. I mean, when people have issues over or disagree over certain issues, it does not translate to our party imploding or, ex or exploding. You know, with issues will continue to arise. People will disagree, but we still agree. So I am not aware of any faction. Maybe you tell me that have called for the resignation of our national uh, chairman, apart from um, uh, Comrade Timmy Frank, who will feel personally aggrieved. And what he's doing, I can tell you, he is on his own. He is not doing it because anybody is asking or uh, doing the bidding of any faction within the party. He is just aggrieved that he was not given the opportunity to act or, or to be admitted into the NWC of our party. We consider it personal. He's just on a personal vendetta. And he has demonstrated, even on your program yesterday, that he's pursuing narrow, selfish interest that is against the interest of the party. He has demonstrated absolute disloyalty in every ramification. You okay, recall just, that. Just even a moment, before, Mr. Ngofa. We uh, need to take a moment now. When we come back, we'll continue the conversation. Please stay with us.